Hey, Chain 6, it's finally here. Well, uh, the first trailer is anyway. Rockstar even kicked it off a bit early as the trailer, as of this morning, was already under 24 hours. Hey, turns out people still love GTA a lot. That they do, Lawrence. Jeez. <laughs> so before we get into what is actually Battlefield franchise like me, well, then I know they'd probably be a pretty good connection. The Last of Us 2. Me. I saw that girl, Lucia. I love her. Um, she's me. I am so excited that finally I could cosplay a video game character. The trailer pretty much follows what we've read in a lot of the leaks over the years. Uh, it's set in Miami, sorry, sorry, Vice City, and features a criminal couple doing Bonnie and Clyde style missions, and it's set to the music of Florida native. Girls in bikinis by pools, alligators running loose in convenience stores, and of course, lots of cars. Bag races and news hops chasing ne'er-do-wells on motorbikes. All by, by the way, all based on real life, things that, that have actually happened. <laughs> Boyfriend robbing a store with her saying, the only way we're gonna get through this is by sticking together, being a team. Close out, we see a neon purple reveal of the Roman numeral VI or six with a release date. Well, release year. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I promise you it's gonna be late 2025. You know, let, let's say September, why not? Splash, after years of leaks and rumors, with the runaway success of GTA 5 and GTA Online, expectations are very, very high for the next installment. Yeah, there's there's still nothing in video games that can compare with the release of a new GTA game. Right, Yami? That's right, Bruce. It's a franchise that's been able to hold a preeminent spot, giving narration of his life's hopes and dreams set against the reality of his criminal life. It's amazing. It's all good. And Seven showed off protagonist Nico Bellic. Uh, set against the gritty backdrop of New York. It'd be Vice City, right? Because it's like, oh, they got to return eventually. But I didn't know that they like looked at my profile <laughs> and they were like, oh, I'm going to put her in the game. You know, like I didn't know that they do that. And that took me from by surprise. You know what I mean? So it, it's really exciting for me. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And also all the locations that I saw that were like my because again, I don't care about Florida, but I love Miami. But the locations that were Miami based, I was like, I've been there. I know where that is. I know where she's oh, shaking that ass. That's awesome. You know? That's awesome. Yeah, like it's really, really accurate to the locations. I'm so excited for that. I'm gonna do like a little like tour of Miami when uh, the game finally comes out. <laughs> yeah, that's so great. I, I mean, living in LA, the most of the first Cyberpunk 2077 trailer, and that it's like it's narration of a protagonist over all these vignettes of what's going on in this crazy world. Uh, for me, and really exciting is I was curious about the tone that Rockstar was going to take with this game. I didn't think satire could work, really, since the world is so ridiculous. Uh, and that's why I thought they were going to go like pretty self-serious, maybe more Red Dead 2 style. I was thinking Michael Mann for that, because it's like Miami. Uh, but it turns out it's Michael Bay, which is also cool. Uh, I got the wrong Michael, but I love Michael Bay, so it works. Uh, all we're kind of missing... I was like, God, if we get to the end of this and there's a shot of like, well, air quotes, Jason,